Good morning, loyal Legends listeners, and welcome once again to Legends Community Focus. I am your very honored host, Lorna O'Connell. And in studio with me today, I have two wonderful, wonderful guests. They are affiliated with El Sol in Jupiter. First, I have David Urietta. David, thank you for being with us. Hi, thank you so much for having me. And Stephen Ospina, who's also with El Sol. Stephen, Hi. thank you. Hi, good morning. Thank you. David, tell mm-hmm. us about El Sol, a little encapsulated version. What does El Sol do up in Jupiter? Of course. So El Sol's mission is to improve the quality of life of all Jupiter residents, especially day laborers and their families. We've been an integral part of the community for over nine years now. Nine years, wow. <laughs> and we offer over 22 programs uh, we, in areas of health, education, integration, but we're most famous for our labor center, where homeowners come to our center and they hire painters, landscapers, um, etc. Now, the, the, your center is on Military Trail near Indian Town Road, correct? Right. It's in the corner of Indian Town and Military. And so when you talk about day laborers, um, how many people do you think that you have served or do you serve on a yearly basis? Well, on a, well on a daily basis, we get about 150 day laborers come to our center. And mm-hmm. within our database, we have about 10,000 day laborers registered. Really? Right. And from which countries are most of these day laborers? Well, like I said, this is open to all Jupiter residents. So we have a variety of people from the United States um, and other countries. Now, Stephen Ospina is also with us today, and he is an American Vista volunteer. Congratulations, and thank you so much for your service. Now, American thank Vista you. is something like the domestic form of the Peace Corps. Is that correct? More or less, yes. Um, and it's a year service of volunteer, and you um, sign up in these work projects. Um, luckily, the one that I signed up for was here in Jupiter, and as a local, didn't have to travel far. I work with another AmeriCorps Vista member from... Uh, California, one from Peru, and one from Michigan. So they all had to travel here. And This is your first year? This is my first year, and I'm coming up to my halfway mark. So mm-hmm. and it's exciting, and I've done quite a bit. Um, two of my tasks, major tasks there are I'm planning a fundraising event, and then I'm also a grant writer. What about the special event that you're fundraising for? What is that about? So this one, it is... Um, before the main day of Art Fest, mm-hmm. this is called Preview Night, and it's a ticketed event. It's a mm-hmm. VIP event, and we'll have hors d'oeuvres and wine and craft beer, a silent auction, and a chance drawing. Um, we'll also have entertainment um, and a couple of live artists painting right all in our community Sunshine Organic Garden with a lovely pergola. And it's going to be on Saturday, November 7th from 6 to 8, and... It's going to be very exciting, and you could visit our website at friendsofelsoul.org, and um, there'll be a link there with information, and you could also purchase tickets the day of, um, so it's going to be exciting. So this night, this, this um, Art Fest preview night, is a precursor to get everybody warmed up and excited about the next day, which is um, Sunday, November 8th, at the Center, and this is your annual Art Fest. Fest. David, right. tell me all about this. What's yeah, happening? Yeah, so Art Fest, the following day from November 8th, uh, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, so we're going to be having over 35 vendors there selling art, craft, uh, specifically Guatemalan art as well. So many of our day laborers at our center are actually artists. Uh-huh. So they create these beautiful, stunning pieces of art that we're going to be selling at the event. We're going to have a traditional Guatemalan dance called El Baile del Venado, the deer dance. So we're going to have that. We're going to have mariachis, marimba. And the best part about the event, it's free to the public. I love free. That is the best (laughs) four-letter word in the English language. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. I love that. So that's how – so the big – the kickoff is the night before, right, Stephen? Right, Mm -hmm. correct, Stephen? And this is what you are fundraising and trying to promote that. That starts – that's uh, the 7th, Saturday night, the 7th at 6 o'clock in El Sol's Sunshine Organic Community Garden. Tell me about this Sunshine Organic Community Garden. Do you have any chia pets in there? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no chia pets currently. We were just talking but before we have, long, before, oh. we have some. Um, we have plots available. Um, so if you'd like to grow chia pets there, um, but right now we have um, Alexa, one of our AmeriCorps members. She is um, 
been working in the garden with our garden coordinator, and she's been planting loofahs, which I never knew what they looked like before. Oh, they were yeah. loofahs, the ones you vegetation. have in your bathroom. Okay. And oh, sunflowers yeah. and tomatoes and eggplants and a cornucopia of many vegetables and spices. And this is right behind the center? It's it, right adjacent to, yes. It's adjacent to the center. Mm-hmm. I never knew that. It's the first one ever. It's the only one. Mm-hmm. It's really? Jupiter. So. When, do they, when do they start uh, the Sunshine Organic uh, Community Garden? I want to say a year So ago? we opened on Earth Day 2014, so oh. slightly over a year now. And we've harvested over 1,700 pounds of produce. 1,700 pounds of produce. Organic produce. Organic <laughs> produce. <laughs> and where does all... So this is, this is also a fundraising thing for El Sol. Where do you sell the produce? So we sell our produce every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. right in front of El Sol. I did, I did not get the memo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now everyone knows the memo. <laughs> so I can make it by uh, 1245. Okay. <laughs> I like to, you know, okay. Uh, every, uh, now what days of the week is that, Sunday? Yeah, every Saturday. Saturday. From Saturday. 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. At the El Sol, right, right in, oh, I had no idea. Mm-hmm. And do you have other vendors there as well on, on Saturdays besides the organic? No, primarily it's just the garden market, the the um, the produce that we're harvesting and selling from the garden. And the local people, the lo- local residents are the one who are in charge of the different plots mm-hmm, at the community correct. center. And so they provide all these different organic produce. I did not know that. The tomatoes. So and Can I put an order, order in for some cucumbers or some <laughs> zucchini? That would be absolutely I'll wonderful. I'll let our VISTA member know, yes. <laughs> but uh, most importantly, uh, 10% of all the plots in the garden are donated back to our kitchen program. It's akin to a soup kitchen. So... Uh, because a lot of our day laborers, they're low income. They make about $10,000 a year. Mm-hmm. And it's really hard to meet your most basic physiological needs with that income. So we started a kitchen program. So every 10% of the the produce from the garden goes back to the kitchen, and they have a, you know easy access to organic produce every single day. That's fab- So mm-hmm. do you have a kitchen there that provides breakfast, lunch, and dinner? We, we we provide we lunch. lunch. Yeah, mm-hmm. lunch. Oh, hot lunch every single day. Every, at yeah. so every day of the week or just weekdays only? From Monday to Saturday. Monday through Saturday. How many meals a day do you think you're a, – meals uh, a day. Let's start with a day Roughly. and then a two week. Well, for a year, I know that we serve over 18,000 meals a year. Wow. That's amazing. Most people don't know that. We, we don't do, know. <laughs> we I do quite know. a lot for the community. You definitely do. And the people who your chefs and cooks in the kitchen, those are all on a volunteer. Yeah, all they're all on they're a volunteers. volunteer basis. Mm-hmm. Wow, talk about a yeah. grassroots <laughs> movement with that's a mover and shaker. That is absolutely amazing, Stephen. You're a local resident. You grew up in Jupiter. I did. Um, well, I was born in Miami, but I moved to Palm Beach County when I was maybe eleven. So I've seen Jupiter change. Mm drastically mm-hmm. and I attended Jupiter High graduated 2007 I was part of the Environmental Research Academy there and, um, and then afterwards I kind of just traveled around southern states but I came back here and I found El Sol and um, I eventually I had to work in something diplomatic you know in a foreign embassy so I think this is a good way for me to open doors and meet people I think it's fabulous All right, do you speak more than one language? Si sí, señora yo hablo español soy colombiano Mm-hmm. And hi, mom and dad. Hi, uh, mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> but I got you on some Italian phrases. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Good for you. No, how wonderful that you're giving. So you give back to the community so much. Thank you. And you as well, David. Now, David, you are the chair. You are this year's chair for the art correct Fest event. Mm-hmm. Now, how many people do you expect to be at the event? But on on Sunday, let's say, just start with Sunday. So for the Sunday event, we're expecting over 1,000 people for the Art Fest. And for Art Fest preview night, it's, since it's a ticketed VIP event, we're expecting 150. Is there a place for people to go to become a VIP ticketed? Of a, course. A so our website is www.friendsofelsoul.org, and you can go right to the homepage and buy tickets. Repeat it once again, David. So it's www.friendsofelsoul.org. And right in the home page, you just click a link, and then you can buy tickets. Buy the tickets, and that is for the Saturday night event with mm-hmm. all the entertainment. And, and hors d'oeuvres. And, hors and d'oeuvres. wine. And Organic beer. hors d'oeuvres? Uh, from the, from the kitchen? It's, yeah, it oh, is I, from, it's from, uh, from Hampton garden? Forks. Um, oh, Chef Chris oh, okay. Marshall, you can okay. do some research on him, but he's a uh, he has a kitchen in Jupiter, and I know he does serve organic food. Oh. Um, it's just going to be like finger food, and it's going to be decorations and 
It's going to be a really fun event. So. Is this going to be outside or inside? It'll be outside in the outside. garden. Okay. And under the stars. And hopefully it'll be nice and cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, you've got the perfect time of the year. It's been, it's mm-hmm. been ameliorating. It the temperatures been. and the humidity has been lowering. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's going to be nice. And then, as mentioned, um, you could also purchase your tickets at the day of um, in front when you arrive at um, preview night. If you can't make it, um, purchasing, purchasing it online. Um, but the silent auction will be there and the raffle. And it's going to be really cool. It's Do you still need week. items for the silent auction? I'm sorry? Do you still need items for the silent auction? If anybody's listening and they, they have something, I think I'll donate this for the I, silent auction. Actually, yes. Um, you know, it's it's less than two weeks away, but I, I will accept any item, any item. It's fun. I've, I've, Not um, my old Reeboks. <laughs> <laughs> Did Michael Jordan wear them? Because, you know, that's that could... But, um, no, um, I... We've gotten hot ticket items from Roger Dean and from a couple hotels for a couple night stays, mm. um, wine tasting classes for 20, and then gift baskets from local um, establishments. So they range a lot, and um, it's just it's a wide variety. And, and, uh, and all the proceeds will go back to fund um, El Sol's educational programs and workshops and which is really nice. Well done to all the people who have donated items and all of the sponsors as well. I mean, you really have been out there and really spreading the word. That's great. Congratulations. Thank How you. many people do you think will be in attendance Saturday night at the VIP event? Well, right now, um, since it is ticketed, um, our max is 150, 150 attendees. Mm-hmm. Um, we've sold a few through our sponsorships. And I think, uh, if I recall, last time I checked... We sold through um, people purchasing online on mm-hmm. Eventbrite, um, 40. So we are coming close to... Come, but you still have a few <clears throat> tickets available. Oh, yes. Yeah, we still have we still um, have roughly 50. But. Okay. So, again, once again, if you want to get a ticket in advance for the VIP event, the website is... It is www.friendsofelsoul.org. Mm-hmm. Now, if somebody, if you have some tickets left over and somebody just kind of walks up and says, hey, can I come in and pay? No. Absolutely. Oh, no, I was, okay. I was <laughs> actually sick. <laughs> I thought you were beginning to shake your head. No. So they can. Absolutely. Yes. Mm-hmm. If we still have, you know, um, 20 tickets remaining, um, we'll have a, a little, one of those square um, apparatuses on your phone where if you. Literally. You, it, it, okay. The literal, yeah, the, the literal squares. square, you could slide your card and. Well, you can purchase it there, and then, or if you have cash, you know. Which, and um, so, we won't say <laughs> no to anybody. But. So, l- let me ask: How much are the tickets in advance? So, the tickets in advance are thirty-five dollars. The day of mm-hmm. is forty-five dollars. But if I, you but if you think about it, most of these fundraisers are over a hundred dollars, and so this is. A bargain and a very nice cause. So. Absolutely. <laughs> wonderful food, wonderful yes. entertainment, wonderful p- uh, works of art to see. Yes. We'll have two live artists there. Um, Did you mention a mariachi band? That will be for, um, actually, for Yeah, that's for Art Fest for the Art following Fest. day. Art Fest the next day. Mm. What kind of entertainment? Are you going to have entertainment on Saturday night, then? Yes. The entertainment that I will be having, um, it's going to be up on our stage. Um, we'll have a little stage in the garden, but it's um, a couple from Argentina, and they, it's from Art Jazz. It's a restaurant in Northwood. But um, the couple, the, the man's a, a guitarist, and the woman, she sings. And um, it's going to be very nice. It's, um, I, know, I know David's been to their restaurant and seen them perform. And I've seen a few videos of them on their YouTube. And I like them. So I, I think it's going to be, and, and they, they interact okay. with, the, with, the, uh, with the crowd, and they're lively. And... Publi and so, so I think it'll be fun. So there's going to be something for everybody and something for everybody's senses mm-hmm. to see, to hear, to taste, and also to experience some different cultural exactly. things. Exactly. Absolutely. A well-rounded event. What time does the event start on Saturday night once again? The event starts at 6 p.m. Uh-huh. and lasts until 8 p.m. Till 8? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, what if you want to stay? Oh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> the after such... party is to be determined. Oh, so. to be determined in the yes. center as well. So, and then, okay, so then Sunday at the Art Fest it's, uh, itself, how many artists are showing at Art Fest? So we're going to have 35 vendors, and out of those 35, about half of them are going to be selling art. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, so this is various art, you know, art from Guatemala. This is um, local artists as well. It's, mm-hmm. a, it's a good mixture. 
Well, there are a lot of arts artists in Jupiter. I know that because it's such a beautiful scenic area in which to, you know, for for um, your your subjects. You know, a lot of people go to the ocean, and I see them set up their easels and, you know, send the, uh, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. other paints and everything. So that's going to be fabulous. Um, do you have any? renowned local artists who are going to participate in the event. We do. We have Pedro Chavajay and Lennon Cochoy, which have been um, honored in the town of Jupiter by Karen Galanka. So th- their art is, is very exquisite, I would have to say. They've been um, featured in various galleries. And we also have other local artists like uh, Jason Florent from Northwood, West Palm Beach. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he's a Haitian-American artist. And we're going to have, um, you know, we're going to have various vendors, really. But I think they're one of the best. I, I like them a lot. There's going to be uh, water, oil, sculptures. Uh, Unfortunately, any no sculptures. No sculpting. <laughs> no, no sculpting. Okay. It's, but it's, it's uh, oil paintings, watercolors, exactly. whatever. Mm-hmm. Are you going to have uh, an artist on site to do sketches by any chance? Actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have um, an artist, Marta Llorens, from Catalonia, Spain, who does sketches. I mm-hmm. love Spain. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. What is his name again? Her name is Marta Llorens. Marta, and she's mm-hmm. going to be there as well, and that's on Sunday. Mm-hmm. So all of this is, ha- is taking place. Once again, give us the address, and it's on the west, the southwest corner, correct? Mm-hmm. Southwest corner, Indian Town Road and Military Trail, right next to the Jupiter Police Department. Yes, correct. Okay. I had no idea there was so much property there. You know, a lot. I, I, I had no idea. So, and you are a volunteer, Stephen. How many people do you have on your team to help you with this fundraising event on Saturday night? Oh, wow. I had to uh, reach out to volunteers months ago, and I, I threw my, uh, my net really far, and I wrangled 26 <laughs> very selfless and very nice volunteers. You volundrafted. Yes. I love it. Exactly. Volundrafted. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's, it's been nice. The, I'm, I'm just I'm very enamored with how the community, you know, has stepped up and wants to wants to help and interact and, you know, integrate. So I think it's I think it's very nice. When you talk about David, the you know the the different things that El Sol does provide for the community, especially people who are day laborers, and uh, maybe uh, their total yearly income is only ten thousand dollars. Are there other resources for them that El Sol can provide on a daily basis besides getting them jobs and feeding, mm-hmm. helping them feed their families? Right. So we do offer nighttime and English, um, nighttime and daytime English classes, so they can learn a new language and also a lot of them they speak a dialect so we do offer a program called Plazas Comunitarias so they have the foundation in their own language so they can learn English and we offer a lot of vocational programs as well like sewing which is very popular we have um, you know vocational training programs in irrigation uh, landscaping so they can be safe when they do go out for work Um, and we also were helped pioneer a free volunteer clinic in Jupiter called My Clinic so, I mean, they do have a various um, um, resources they can get within Jupiter. I am very familiar with my clinic. One of my good friends, Diane Williams, uh, introduced it. She works there right. at my yeah, clinic. Yeah, she does. She does. And, I've <laughs> already, and they have been uh, guests on Community Focus, so I think about a month or two ago we had them on. Wonderful. I did not know that they were connected with El Sol. That's fabulous. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That's wonderful. I think, you know, I've got to reach out to Diane. <laughs> Will they be present as well? Will they be attending my clinic? Will they have a booth? Or No, a... unfortunately, they they will not be attending Art Fest. They have a prior commitment. Oh, they do? Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. That's okay. That's, that's all right. I'll have to send an email to Diane and say, good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> so you do have, do you have any, um, are the day laborers that you do help, are mm. they naturalized citizens? Are they waiting to uh, go for citizenship? Mm-hmm. Do you help them? on their path to citizenship uh, in any way? So, like I said, we're a nonprofit, so Correct. we're not obligated to look into that. Mm-hmm. But okay. we do offer a, a legal program, which uh, provides free legal aid to anyone in Jupiter. I didn't so know So for, for those day laborers that do need help getting naturalized, they can use our legal program. That's wonderful. And mm-hmm. everything is volunteer. Everything is Cor- fundraising. Correct. Mm-hmm. When you talk about you're a grant writer as well, Stephen, that is... That is a niche, you know, profession. My brother is a grant writer up in Chicago, and it's a tough job. It it's it's very uh, it's <laughs> pencil pushing. I, it's it's the I've never done it before, and um, you know, I had the help with the grant writing committee, and um, you know, they took me under their wing, and I 
just um, submitted. I submitted my first one not long ago to um, for a labor assistant coordinating position, and one who is um, works with the labor center on the weekends. And I submitted it, and it was approved. Um, thank you, Wells Fargo. Well done. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and um, and um, and then I submitted another one. Um, Maybe a month ago, so I'm still that one's still pending. But it's great. It's 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 like an essay, and I don't mind writing. So and I, and I didn't know it was um, such a sought out trait. It is. So yeah. So it's gonna look good on my resume. It's, so. It really, really, it, you know, uh, you know, grant writing is it's it's a labor of love. Yes. But it is something that is so many nonprofits are looking for good grant writers because it's so important. So to whom are you submitting the grants? Uh, to local businesses, local, federal, state, what? It, it, it all ranges because most of these grants, they are very specific. Mm -hmm. You have to follow every, everything on their application. So it, the grants that we research, we have to find ones that fit within our programs, ones that help. Um, for capacity building or for secondary and primary schools or for health. Um, so, you know, um, the, the ones we're working on are with um, communities around here, gated communities. Um, we have bigger ones from researching Boeing or um, what's another one? Uh, yeah, so we do have various foundations that also support us through grants. So, for example, mm -hmm. Palm Healthcare Foundation, Quantum right. Foundation, United Way of Palm Beach County, mm -hmm. the town of Palm Beach United Way. So we have various people that do support us. Palm Healthcare Foundation, I just interviewed them. But, uh, they, a few weeks ago, uh, I think, as a matter of fact, um, their show aired three weeks ago. They're involved with the Jupiter the, um, Healthier, Healthier Together. Jupiter Initiative. Healthier Correct. Together. They are one of our uh, sponsors for this event. They are. <laughs> they will be there as well. So, they will. Oh, fabulous. And maybe I'll come out and say hello. Absolutely. That's definitely. Um, uh, oh, David, I wanted to ask you yes. what qualifies you to be the chair? That's of a this good event? question. <laughs> <laughs> so I got involved with ELSO back in 2012 as a volunteer, and I returned as a internship as, as an intern to uh, fulfill my re my requirement to graduate from the FAU Honors College, and I returned as the Art Fest coordinator. So I, I've been very familiar with planning this event for quite for about three years now. <laughs> so you were with the honor you graduated from the honors program from FAU. I I attended the FAU Honors College, correct. Oh my! Mm -hmm. You're a real brainiac, both of you. <laughs> I'm very <laughs> impressed. What impresses me so much is that you are both young. I mean, I'm, well, thank you. Thank well, you. you really <laughs> are. From where I'm sitting, honey, you guys are babies. You know, but I, I love the fact that you are. I will say this: millennials, and that you are giving so much back to the community. A lot of your people your age get a bad rap, but I think that you are exemplary. You know, just, you know, talk about representing your generation. I think that's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful as you get back. David, do you live in Jupiter as well? Are you? Yes, I, I do age? live in Jupiter. I mean, I did move up here uh, to attend the Honors College. Uh -huh. and but, but I am originally from the West Palm Beach area. You are? Mm-hmm. Where did you go to a grade school and grammar and a high school? So I went to Inlet Grove High in Riviera Beach, uh -huh. and then I attended Palm Beach State College and then FAU Honors. Bravo, bravo, mm -hmm. wonderful. And, and Stephen, you are from uh, Miami originally, correct? Yes, born Miami-Dade. And, um, uh, you know, my parents, they, they, they came here um, from Colombia in the 80s, and mm -hmm. they met um, at a restaurant. And then Hurricane Andrew hit, and um, I think it was four when that came by. But anyways, uh -huh. um, after that, we kind of we moved up here because uh -huh. it was just a wreck. So, oh, <laughs> and plus my dad got a, he's a graphic designer, so he got a job up here. Fabulous. Not because we ran away from a hurricane, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Nobody would blame you. But we haven't gotten one lately in the past 10 years, so that's nice. Thank you. Thank you. That's very Absolutely. nice. But, um, yeah. but yeah, so just been here. And as I mentioned, um, this place has just grown and changed, but um, for the better. Um, I mean, I still remember when Donald Ross Road was a dirt road. And when Jupiter Farms was farms and not. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when Central Boulevard stopped at Hood Road. You remember that? Yes. Yeah, yes. That's how old I am. 
<laughs> I know that you said that El Sol has been uh, in existence for the for nine years now, correct? Yes, nine years. Who began it? Was it a, just a group of uh, local residents decided that they're right? So was this need? was really a grassroots coalition that made this happen. From the Catholic churches, from the FEU Honors College was involved, and other impassioned community members mm-hmm. um, to really resolve the open air labor market that was happening on Center Street, where there were day laborers waiting every single day in the hot Florida heat and the rain without access to restrooms, being common victims of uh, wage theft. So they knew that a center like El Sol needed to start. I remember that distinctly. I was a resident of Jupiter at the time, and it was it was a heartbreaking situation. And I'm so glad that so many Jupiter residents stepped up to help uh, alleviate the suffering and rectify the problem by establishing the El Sol Center right there mm-hmm. on the corner. I understand. I, I know it wasn't without any some pushback, I understand. Right. Mm-hmm. But now you are established, and you are... More than just a grassroots uh, organization now, you know, nonprofit organization, you are firmly established as a place, a beacon of hope in Jupiter, and I applaud you all for that. You're wonderful. You. And congratulations for, you know, the Art Fest. How many years have you been doing Art Fest? Uh, so this is our eighth annual Art Fest. So we've have we've had Art Fest for a while now, <laughs> but the expanded outdoor sponsored food truck version that came in 2013. Food truck. Yeah, so we will have food trucks at Art Fest. Yum. If you had a 30 second commercial that you were putting together, David, for Art Fest, plug your Art Fest on the air. Like- okay, so Art Fest 2015, presented by Community Foundation, is Jupiter's premier cultural event. Come out and uh, try the delicious food trucks and browse through 35 vendors um, from uh, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. on November 8th. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, Stephen, it's your turn. You're up. All right. Um, so if you're looking for an intimate gathering um, in a lovely setting in a beautiful garden, come to um, Preview Nights, and they will, we will have hors d'oeuvres and wine and beer and silent auction with many of items and many hot ticket items, and there'll be some wonderful entertainment for... For your entertainment, <laughs> and um, and it's going to be on Saturday, November seventh, from six to eight. And purchase your tickets online at friendsofelsoul dot org, or you could purchase them at the on the uh, the day of, um, right outside of our garden. So hope to see everyone there. And you're signed up to write commercials for the station. <laughs> oh. <laughs> me, and once again, ticket prices for the VIP event, the non Saturday night, are. Oh yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, so. Uh, uh, right now, they are going for $35, and the day of is $40, $45. And Art Fest is? Free to the public. Come <laughs> on. Free. We love free. Thank you so much, gentlemen. It has been an honor to interview you today, and wonderful representatives from El Sol in Jupiter. Please go out to the uh, the uh, preview night, which is Saturday night, November 7th, and that will be the Art Fest preview night. And then Sunday, of course, is the gala, the uh, Art Fest itself. November 8th, and also is at the corner of the um, Military Trail and Indian Town Road in Jupiter. God bless you all. And just one last thing before we go, if there is somebody out there who believes that they need your services outside of Artfest, perhaps a, a, a day laborer or a family member who needs some help from El Sol, how would they contact you? They can contact us on 561-745-9860 or just stop by the center. Okay. We're open Monday through Sunday. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I hope everybody attends El Sol's Art Fest. And God bless you all. Thank much you. success. And thank you all, Loyal Legends listeners, for joining me once again this Sunday morning. I'm Lorna O'Connell. It's been an honor to be your host today. Don't go away. Mike McGann is in. He's going to continue playing all the legendary music we know and love. Please join me again for at noon for my regular Sunday gig. Whatever you do today, please surround yourselves with people who love you, family and friends, and create some beautiful memories. And don't forget, hug your precious babies. God bless you all, and kiss, kiss.